One of the absolute coolest things about having your own service-based business is that you can make money on demand. Now, I know this sounds a little gimmicky, but stick with me because it is true and it is great. If you need or want to make money quickly in your business, you definitely can. And there are so many different ways that you can make it happen. Now, today, I'm going to share with you three of those ways that you can get this quick cash injection. Again, I know, sounds gimmicky, but stick with me here. And the steps to make those things happen. So stay tuned. Hey there, I'm Sean Miner, and this is Unstuck Entrepreneur. I'm a former nutritionist who turned a struggling, stressful nutrition practice into a thriving, freedom-filled online business where I work from home in my sweatpants while reaching and helping thousands of people all at the same time. Now I'm obsessed with showing other heart-centered coaches, practitioners, and solopreneurs how to build a business and life they love. Consider this podcast your safe space to learn both the inner work and practical strategies required to build the impactful, profitable business of your dreams. No hustle, grind, or long hours required. That's right, hustle culture, not welcome here. Let's get into today's session. Hey, hey there, friends. Welcome back to the Unstuck Entrepreneur Podcast. I'm Sean, your host on each and every episode of the show, and as always, So grateful to have you checking in on this episode and hanging out with me today. We have got a big topic to chat about. We're talking money. We're talking making money. We're talking being in business, getting clients, all the good stuff, all of those things that are kind of necessary to have a business. But before we dive in, I thought I would give a little bit of an update on what's been going on with me and my business. I think I have mentioned this on the podcast before. If not, I definitely have over on my Instagram stories. But back in November, late November, I started a training program around copywriting and have been, I spent all of December every working day in the afternoons going through this program and learning everything and applying and practicing and all this stuff. A lot of writing, you could say. And for those that don't know, I'll back it up a little further. I'm not talking about copywriting, like the little C in the circle, like legal terms. Not that kind of copywriting, although that's important too. I'm talking about writing copy, conversion copy more specifically for your business. So the words that you use in your business to get people to know, like, and trust you and to take, you know, these cold people who have no idea who you are, what you do, and if they're the right person for you into becoming paying clients. And it's all about the words. You're like, yeah, it's nice to have a pretty website and pretty Instagram feed and all these things. And the design is the icing on the cake for sure. But the like flour and sugar and butter and eggs that go into making that cake that is your business, that is your copy. That is the words that you are using. And I've always been super interested in it. Uh, I've obviously spent 10 years as a business owner learning my own copy and how to best use the words that are right for my business and my clients. I've written a ton of copy on my own for my business and I've always been super interested in going back even further. I wanted to be a writer when I grew up, when I was a little girl, wrote stories, wrote books, always thought that I would be some sort of author or writer. And now here I am, it's kind of interesting going into you know a health and wellness business and then uh, now a business coaching business that really one of my main roles in my business is writer and has been for 10 years now. So I finally got the bug, kind of got the itch to really learn more and explore the depths of it. And for, yes, my own business and making sure that what I'm doing is top notch, but also to help you uh, with what you are doing in your business and the words and writing that you are using. Uh, Because, you know, I got to be totally honest with you guys here. And I say this with all the love in the world. Most of what I see in the coaching space in the wellness space it's not great 
it's very cookie cutter. It's very kind of ho-hum, kind of boring, kind of safe, if I'm being totally honest. And that doesn't really attract anybody. What we need is compelling, engaging copy that is you and uniquely you coming from you and your lens and speaking to the right people, to your people, to those people out there that you know need your help, but they're not finding you because nothing you're doing is really all that compelling. Um, I keep coming back to that word, but I think it's true. So I'm going down a rabbit hole here. As you can tell, I'm obviously a little passionate about this and have only become more so as I'm really learning the ins and outs. And now we're at almost two months that I've been in this program and going through everything. I've completely changed all of my copy in my business. Um, A lot of it is just kind of refining, I guess I would say. I think we always have room to do that. And it's kind of fun to do that, I think. And so I've been doing that in my business and have also been working on ways that I can support you doing that in your business. And so much of it is just learning. Like you're just trying to do something that you don't know how to do. And, you know, hiring a copywriter can be pretty pricey. We're talking thousand, multiple thousands of dollars to hire someone to do it for you. And if you're not doing that, then you're doing it on your own and you're likely doing it without a whole lot of insight or education on what to do. And it's like the most important thing in your business. If you're not doing the things to get people to notice you and saying the right things and saying things in a way that are very connective and trusting and also very likable because you're being you in your tone and your voice uh, in your brand, then you're missing a lot of opportunity to reach the right people and make money. You know, we're in business to make money, which is what we're going to talk about today. So that went on a little bit of a tangent, but I did want to let you know what I've been doing behind the scenes the last couple of months. And I will have my first workshop for you. It'll be a live workshop specifically around this topic of copy and messaging. I know I talk about messaging a lot on the show and I have well before I knew I was going to get into copywriting. I will have that coming up probably late February, early March 2023. I'm not going to hold myself to any specific dates because there's just, I don't want to give myself any unnecessary pressure and I want to make sure that it is really, really good and educational for you, but it will be coming and that is what I'm working on right now. All right, so let's talk money, shall we? And more so, more specifically, making money quickly in your business. Now, I know I just had an episode, our last episode, we talked about the need for patience as a business owner. And yes, it does take time and patience to build things up potentially to where you want it to be so that maybe you can quit your other job or you can retire your spouse or whatever your big dreams and goals are for your business, it does take time and it does require patience most often. Sure, there are overnight success stories. Are they true or not? Nobody knows. But for the most part, yes, it does take time. But that does not mean that you can't start making money today in your business with what you have at your fingertips, with whatever's going on in your business right now. And really, when you start working on this stuff and you do start making money, it has a snowball effect. You continue to make more and more and more money. You continue to try new things. You continue to attract new audience members, all because you got the ball rolling. So this is also a momentum building activity and something you should take seriously. Now, I'm going to share with you just three of many opportunities and many ideas that you can use to make money quickly in your business. If you remember back a few episodes ago, episode 174, I went through 10 passive income ideas for your business. Those are more of these types of opportunities. I'm basically choosing three of those and diving in more detail on how to make that happen in your business. But you can also go back and listen to that episode if none of these appeal to you. 
but I wanted to keep it at three because I want you to do one of these. I don't want it to be overwhelming and you just listen and then you're like, oh, there's so many opportunities. Great, cool. And then tomorrow you forget them all. Focus on one of these three and decide which one that's going to be and roll with it. So keeping it simple so that you can make that decision easier. One more thing before we get into these three. Obviously, to sell something, you need someone to sell it to, right? So this is something that I actually think people hold off on trying to make money in their business because they don't think they have enough people to sell to. And if you don't think you have enough people, then you fear failure. You feel like you'll try to make money and it will be crickets and no one will take you up on it, you won't make any money, and it will just totally blow up in your face. And like that means something about you, which it absolutely doesn't. It just honestly probably means you need to work on your copy a little more. But we'll talk about that. We'll save that for another episode coming up. But the thing is, you all have an audience that is big enough right now to make a sale. Even if you don't have a social media following or you're not on social media, Even if you don't have an email list or you started it and have since ghosted it and don't have that many engaged people on it, you still have an audience because you still know people. You still know people in your community. You potentially, even if you don't know them, you live in a community where you can do some networking, do some outreach, put up some flyers. Maybe you have a personal Facebook page or something. Maybe you're in a mom's group or a book club or a tennis league. Maybe you go to the gym or you take yoga classes. You have a network. You have people who need and want your help in there somewhere. So you can, like I said, put up flyers, tell your friends, talk about it in your yoga class, talk about it to your mom group. Just start sharing and let people know. And when you have these big events, like what we're going to talk about today, when you have an actual event, then it is kind of this exciting thing for you to talk about. It's not like, oh yeah, well, I take clients. So, you know, anytime you're ready, just let me know and we can chat about it because that person's not going to do that. There's a million other things in their lives they need to do first before they contact you. But if it's this event and it's like, yes, it's at this time, this is the day, make sure you go here and register or send me an email and I'll register for you, then it gives you this conversation starter, this conversation topic, and there's a limited time. And so that's why you're talking about it there. So it does make it easier to build in that networking aspect. And yes, of course, if you have even one person that is on your email list or one follower on your Instagram, then also... So they are your audience and you are talking to them and you are sharing these events that we're going to talk about with them. So they are not going to work if you set up this whole event and then nobody knows about them, that you're not going to make money that way. It is not a build it, they will come kind of thing. You have to let people know consistently and specifically and repetitively over and over and over because that is what people need to make a decision, believe it or not. If you do not have a network right now, if you don't have an audience, then I would encourage you to get inside Launch List Accelerator or Signature Program Bundle, which Launch List Accelerator is inside the bundle, so you get two for one, and change that. We need to change that. You need to start working on building an engaged audience that is interested in the work you are doing, and that is what we will do for you inside those programs. All right, let's do it. Number one, host a paid workshop. This is one of my favorites. This is something that anyone can do. If you have something, a skill, a service that people are interested in that would help someone else, that would help solve a problem or would help someone learn something, 
you can host a paid workshop. And especially, you know, one of the good things to come out of the pandemic is that everyone is used to and totally fine with things being virtual now. So you can host it virtually. Now, if you want to do it locally, that is really fun and cool too. Either way works and will probably also depend on, again, where your network is. If it's more local and they can get together in one space, cool. Or if you have more of a nationwide, worldwide kind of audience, or you just prefer to do things virtually, then that would be an option for you. This is going to probably be at a lower price point, I would say under $100. And when it's something that is in that price range, and this is really why we'd like to keep it this way, that means obviously it's more accessible to more people. And so you will get a decent turnout and will make some cash, which is amazing. So this kind of event gives people a chance to work with you at this lower price point, which is always amazing, but it also helps them see what it's like working with you, what your teaching style is, what your personality is, if you guys vibe, if they are a good candidate for the rest of your offers or whatever else you do with people. And when they can start off at this lower price point and get all of that information, then they are much more likely to make that bigger investment in the future to take the next step with you. So you could even have a higher price point item, even like, you know, if you do one-on-one coaching or something, you could have that on the back end of this paid workshop and, you know, apply what they paid if they do take the next step. So that's an option too. But you don't need that second step if that's not something you have in your business right now. You can just start with this paid workshop. And in this workshop, you are going to be teaching and or coaching a group of people around one very specific topic that will most likely be like a 60 to 120 minute max workshop. And you also can split them up into multiple workshops too. You could do like a three workshop series where they're 45 to 60 minutes each and break it up that way if that works better for you. But let's stick with simplicity and say we're just going to do one paid 60 minute workshop on one specific topic. And important thing is to give them a quick win. So You want it to be something that they can learn and implement in this one workshop that will make improvements to their lives, that will resolve an issue they have, where they'll get some knowledge that they didn't have before that will get them to their goals, something that will make it a win and not just you talking at them for an hour and them not really getting anything out of it except hearing you talk, right? We don't want that. And it also will be cool and nice and probably expected to have a workbook included and maybe even some follow-up homework. So again, it is active. They are working in this workshop, which is the whole point and getting something out of it, getting that quick win. So here's what you are going to do to make this happen. This is your step-by-step checklist right here. So you may want to write this down. First of all, you are going to decide on a topic for your workshop. Then you are going to decide on a date for your workshop and put it in your calendar. Now, I want you to choose a very specific date, a very specific time, and actually put it on your calendar right now before you do anything else, because that is going to be your guidepost that will keep you working towards your goal. So put it in the calendar. I would say a realistic time frame would be two to four weeks out probably is a doable thing for this workshop. And you can start talking about it, promoting it, and accepting payment for it seven to 10 days before the event. So that means potentially you might be making money next week if you get started on this and you give yourself a two and a half week timeframe. How cool is that? So 
doable. Now, you picked your topic, you put it in your calendar, you set the date and put it in your calendar. The next thing, this is optional, but I do want you to put it on your to-do list and depending on how much time you have, this is a thing that you could scrape, but it is going to give your customers a better user experience. And that is a landing page. A landing page is a web page that you use for your clients to land on, to put in their contact information, and typically is done in exchange for something else like your freebie. So anytime you've created a page to showcase your freebie and put a little form that says name, email address, submit in order to get that freebie and for them to get put on your email list, that's a landing page. Or if you've ever done that in someone else's business and put your name and email address in a form, that was their landing page. Now, in the case of your paid workshop, it is going to actually be a landing page that then moves on to a checkout page. But I don't want to call it a sales page because it's not going to be a sales page really, it's not going to have all of the traditional elements of a sales page. It will be shorter, sweeter, and more simplified. And if you've never uh, built a landing page, or at least not a very high converting one, then that is something I show you how to do in Launch List Accelerators and all of the elements that you need to include to actually get people to want to take the next step. So once you have that landing page, it is then going to go, someone's like, yes, I want to be a part of this workshop. This sounds awesome. They will then click a button and go to your checkout page. You will need some way to collect money. This can be through, you know, if you do use Kajabi, that's obviously also included or something like Samcart or Kartra. I think ConvertKit even does these kinds of things where you can pay now. PayPal, you may even be able to set up something through that. So you need a way for them to pay you, obviously. And they will then go to a place where they can put in their credit card information and hit yes, purchase, I'm ready, let's do this. That is your checkout page. And if you need help doing that, I have a tech tutorial available for you inside Signature Program Bundle. And then once someone confirms their purchase, you will want to send them to a thank you page. A thank you page is simply just like a, hey, you're in. It kind of confirms the purchase and it gets them excited about their purchase because the last thing we want to do is have someone click that purchase button and then get buyer's remorse. And your thank you page will keep that from happening. It will get them excited. It will confirm that they've made the commitment and what they're going to learn and what to expect and how cool it's going to be. So we want to take the time to actually build a nice, engaging, welcoming thank you page. Again, if you need help with that, you know where to find it by now. And then you will start inviting people to attend. Like I said, about seven to 10 days out. And in that seven to 10 days where you are telling people, where you're talking about it on social media, you're creating social media posts and um, social media stories, whatever else you want to do in that regard, you're sending out invites to your email list, multiple, multiple invites, multiple Instagram posts, again, repetitive and consistent wins in this regard. And while all of that is going on, you will then be planning out what you're going to talk about and teach and coach in the workshop. You're going to be getting your slides ready, especially if it is virtual, then you will want slides to kind of run through and teach everything. It will also keep you on track, which is really nice. You're gonna get the workbook ready and all that. So like I said, depending on how comfortable you feel with the tech side of things, if you've done landing pages before, if you've done checkout pages and thank you pages, then that can all be done in a matter of days. And you know, if you have a Canva slide template all ready to go and just need to change some things, then that's really simple. Like I said, you could have this done in a couple weeks and you could be hosting this paid workshop a couple weeks from now 
And then at most, I would say, give yourself four weeks. And if you have never done a landing page, checkout page, thank you page, and super comfortable with the tech side of things of all of that, then you may want to give yourself more time. If you are also doing this while you have another full-time job, which I know is a lot of you, then you may want to give yourself three to four weeks and then commit to you know, maybe two evenings a week you're working on this and maybe half of a weekend day you're working on that and that could also be done in a few weeks. So it can be done, okay? So put it on your schedule and get to it. Next is hosting a special one-on-one client sign-up event. So this is obviously specifically for those people that do one-on-one client work. And even if that's not something that you want to do for the long term or you don't want to fill your calendar all the time with one-on-one clients, if you just host a special event to get one-on-one clients to sign up, then it doesn't mean that that's what you have to do forever and always and your calendar will always be full or anything. So it is honestly just a way that if you have the capacity and the desire to see clients one-on-one, then it's a way to make good money quickly. And honestly, this is how I recommend you always do client signups. Always treat it like a special event. Always treat it like a launch. What I typically see that I don't think works as well is like a gentle, light, casual mentioning of the one-on-one client work that you do occasionally, and it doesn't provide the excitement, the enthusiasm, and that You know, what we all need as buyers, a little bit of this buildup and encouragement to actually make a decision. So when you have something that is a special event, even as a one-on-one client sign up thing, then you're kind of allowing people, you're coaching people into making a decision for themselves. If you just randomly say, yeah, I take one-on-one clients, just let me know whenever you're ready, they just won't make the decision. It'll be a lot harder. They will stay stuck in indecision. And it's not them ever choosing not to work with you either. It's just not choosing at all. So if we do this sort of special event around your work with clients, then you are coaching them into making a decision. Is this the right time for me or not? And that's what we really want here. So even with one-on-one session packages, you still want to make it an attractive offer. So let's think of a way that you can make this a really exciting opportunity for them. So maybe they get some sort of special bonus or a coupon code that expires or an extra session or you know access to a course you have in addition to one-on-one client work. Make a limited time special offer around your client work and then promote the heck out of it. Make it exciting, make it a big deal. Treat it like you would a launch if you were launching anything. Now for this, you actually will be able to get away without having much set up. That's if you already do have everything set up on the back end to take one-on-one clients. So if you already have done that and you've already had clients, then you can start doing this tomorrow. But if your back end isn't quite set up yet for one-on-ones, then you will need to do that first. So first thing, iron out the details of your session packages, or if it's just one-off sessions, that's fine too. Just decide. You, If it's a package, you'll want to know how many sessions, how much communication they get in between sessions, how will they communicate with you, obviously the investment, what you'll do together, what they can expect, that kind of thing. So getting the details of the work you are going to do with your clients. If you want to use some sort of client management software, then you'll want to get that set up, whether that be Practice Better or Intake Q or Kajabi, they all have coaching platforms that will organize your client system and all the paperwork and everything like that. So it makes it really easy. You will also need a way for them to pay you, as we talked about earlier, 
That can be a checkout page. If you do use some sort of software that allows for that, you can invoice them, whatever you decide is best. If you are using a client management software, then they likely have some sort of payment system in there included. If not, you can look at bookkeeping softwares. Most of them have invoicing capabilities or even something like PayPal, or you can create an invoice template in Kajabi and just send it via email, whatever is best for you and where you're at right now. You will also probably want to set up a way to do scheduling without having to do back and forth emails. You don't have to. You can get by right now with just doing emails if you want and you just want to run with it and get it out there. I also really love Calendly. Uh, You can, I believe, get maybe one type of event scheduling for free. And then after that, it's a really affordable way to have a calendar set up that people can just put their time in that they prefer. So look into that if that's something you're interested in. And then you will most likely also want a way for people to set up a short consultation with you to make sure they're a good fit. So quite often, especially in the health and wellness space, and especially if you offer packages that are probably at a higher price point to work with you, then people want to make sure they're a good fit first. They want to talk to you before they make that commitment and that investment. So having 15, 20, 30 minute free consultations will be a good way to get that done. And people kind of expect that at this point. So make sure you have a way again to schedule that if that is through Calendly or something like that where it's free, they can get on your calendar. And I would just suggest that you only have specific days and specific chunks of time that you do these sessions because otherwise they'll take over your whole life. (laughs) So you don't want that. So keep it a short amount of time that they can select to do a free consultation with you. Now get that all set up and you are ready for a cash injection like tomorrow. And if you already have it set up, you're good to go. Let's do this. I would say realistically, though, you'll probably want to take some time to think about how you're going to make this offer extra special and how you're going to promote it and getting some of your emails written and your social media posts created. So let's tack on a week to do those things and add another two or three days if you still need to get the back end of your coaching set up. So let's say one to two weeks to make this happen. So cool. I love this idea. And like I said, I really think this should just be how you always get your one-on-one clients is making a special event out of it where they get something and it's hyped up and you're excited and you have a certain number of spots available in your calendar and they're filled, and then you can go about helping your clients until the next time you're ready for a special event. All right, the third one, final one, because I want you to focus on one of these three, is following the sell, then create method. So let me explain this to you. The STC method, sell, then create. This is something I teach inside Signature Program Bundle, and I really love it, and a lot of the members really love it, because you actually get paid to create your program. So you are essentially selling your program while you are creating your program. So here's how, here's the breakdown. First, you decide on your program topic. And after you know your topic, then you can go into figuring out your modules, the flow of the program, you brand it, all of the things. Then you create your offer for that program. So you decide what the bonuses are, is there a guarantee, what's the price, all of the nitty gritty. Then you launch it. So you know what is going on in the program, you know the flow, you know the path, you know the outcome that is going to happen for your clients, you know everything. So you launch it. Then as you are in the process of launching and selling and people are buying, you're creating the program. You are building the guts, I guess we'll say, of the program. So the videos, the audios, the written lessons, the PDFs, whatever it is you need for your clients to get the help they need, whatever you're going to include. 
So how it would look in real life, let's say that you have figured everything out, the bones and structure of your program, and you launch it on February 1st. And you say that the group starts February 18th. So then that means you have the launch is going on, people are buying, you are in the process of getting people into your program. And while that is happening in the foreground, in the background, you are creating the first module. So that when it February 18th comes around, your group starts, they get access to, you know, the welcome kit and the first module, which you've created a few weeks prior. And then as they're going through the first module, February 18th through whatever a week later is, then you are creating the second module and then the third module and the fourth module. So you're, what is actually another benefit a really big benefit is that you are taking the feedback that your group is giving you. And because it is a beta group, it's the first one. That's why you're just now, you know, building it. You are getting feedback from them. That's part of the offer. They are in your beta group. They get a discount and they give you feedback. You're taking that and immediately implementing it into the rest of your program because you're building it alongside of them. And so if people say, you know, I really would prefer this in in audio format versus video format because I find that I'm listening while I'm on a walk or making dinner, then you didn't just create a bunch of videos for no reason when that's not what they want. Now you can make the rest of your program have audio instead of video. And, um, and then, you know, you don't have to redo anything because you're doing it right the first time. So it's another amazing benefit of the STC model. And I do also teach a hybrid STC model too for those people. This is kind of what I do who aren't, can't quite wrap their heads around the idea of having people go through their program without having things created you can create some things and keep some things for after you have already enrolled people. So it's not quite as what some people might see as stressful. I do have the STC hybrid as well. And so like I said, this is what I teach in Signature Program Lab inside the bundle. I have five week and seven week plans and guidelines and maps for that, depending on how much time you have to work on it. And so obviously, this is probably the least quick of the quickest ways to make money in your business because you're building something pretty big and pretty major, and it does take a little longer and a little more thought to get everything organized for your program, and you don't want to rush through any of that. But again, you are creating something that will continue to work for you and your business and will be on rinse and repeat once you've created it, especially if you're creating it alongside your first group because it will be done the best way for them the first time because you'll be taking uh, their feedback into account. So it will save you a lot of time in the future for sure. And remember with this method, you are putting money in the bank while you are creating your program. So you're getting paid to create the program, which is really nice. And it really does work out well for everyone involved. So it's not like your clients are even noticing that that's what you're doing other than they're helping you create a better program, which they all are more than happy to do. So that's your third option of ways you can make money quickly in your business that we'll cover today. Now you just need to decide, put it in the calendar, make it happen. Don't talk yourself out of it. Don't use the excuse that you don't know how because I have all of the resources you need to learn how and to actually make it happen. So you have no excuse. Just commit to it, put it in your calendar, make it happen, make money in your business. All right, friends, we're gonna leave it at that for today. I want you to let me know which one you are going to commit to, what's your plan, what's on your calendar. Send me a DM on Instagram and I will hold you accountable. Sean Miner on Instagram is where you can find me And I'm talking to you. 
message me, send me a DM. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you are working on in your business right now. And like I've mentioned, I have the resources available for you if you want to push the easy button on getting all of this set up and making money in your business, you can head to seanminer.com slash list to check out Launch List Accelerator, which is all about setting up your email list, whether you're starting from zero or you have an email list that you've ghosted or anything in between, and setting up those landing pages and the thank you pages and the welcome emails and all the emails that you need to send in order to really get to know your audience and for them to get to know you, that is all done in Launch List Accelerator. You can do that on your own, or it is part of the signature program bundle if you want a signature program in your business and you know, like that sell then create was calling you and you want to have that thing that you can continually rinse and repeat to make money in your business, that will be your signature program. And that is what we build together inside the signature program bundle, and then also work on your email list with that. So it is a whole big bundle. And that's at seanminer.com slash bundle. All right, my friends, until next time, take care. Hey friends, Sean here, and if you're a coach or practitioner who's looking to help more people, make more money, and have more free time, then I have a special invitation for you that you don't want to miss. Right now, I'm hosting a free masterclass that will walk you through the process of adding a signature program to your business. As many of you know, the Signature Program Business Model has been my primary way of doing business since 2017, and after seven programs of my own created and helping dozens of other wellness pros create theirs, I'm now sharing my exact process with you for free in this one-hour masterclass. Now, you might be thinking, Sean, I'm just not ready to have my own program yet, or I don't have the time to build a program right now. Are you crazy? I totally get it. I get all of it, which is exactly why I created this training in the first place. I want you to see how possible this really is for you and how simple it can be when you have a tried and true proven system in place, no matter where you're at in your business today. So if you're like most coaches and practitioners who have a dream of creating a scalable offer in their business that helps the people they're meant to help without it being directly tied to your time and energy, then there's a seat with your name on it inside my Burnout Proof Your Business Masterclass. In just one hour, you're going to learn why adding a signature program will uncap your income potential forever and give you more time for your own life, health, family, and self-care. You'll learn exactly how my client sold out her first program, even with a small audience, because of this one super simple marketing hack that I am going to reveal. You'll learn the simplified foolproof process that will take your knowledge and experience and turn it into your own program in just six weeks and also how to implement an automated marketing system that will grow an engaged audience full of perfect match clients that can't wait to enroll in your program once it's ready, even if right now you're starting at zero. All you have to do is head to seanminer.com slash burnout proof and save your seat for this masterclass before it's gone. seanminer.com slash burnout proof. Can't wait to see you there.